first thing okay uh, good afternoon everyone so afternoon, we'll be starting this uh, practical session practical or hands on whatever so the thing is that uh, a pdf will be shared in your group i think so in the pdf basically i have mentioned all the means uh, you can say protocols or step by step process how we will use uh, rbc rbcl sequence of uh, uh, chloroplast and uh, how will first align those sequence uh, from 10 species or 10 plants you can say plants and all those things and after aligning those sequences we will try to uh, prepare a phylogenetic tree uh, so if you go through this pdf which shared in the group the first thing is that uh, do we have uh, this uh, uh, computer and laptop with everyone means uh, everyone is using mobile or in the laptop so if you can download this mega software it's the link is there in the in the in the pdf so from the pdf you can just install it's a free software free freely available software you can just click and uh, this download uh, the latest version or whatever the version they are showing it will take i think two three minutes only uh, then the next thing which uh, everyone have to do we have to open everyone received the pdf na? any any participant so the, in this session we have to interact so all the par participant please uh, you can unmute yourself and we can uh, talk na? otherwise it will be uh, kind of difficult so if you can if you can open the pdf so anyone can respond any 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 one start them so i'm sharing the page one minute i have to open the first link so everyone can open the first link of ncbi gene bank so you can copy the link and you can paste in your uh, browser and it will open the ncbi database simple everyone already used i think ncbi database So just check. So this is the so this is our uh, normal NCBI database. So we all used now. So in this database, if you go through the PDF which I have provided, so there is a in the second page <coughs> there is a background or the detail about the gene which we will study means as i already said in our uh, in our previous discussion that uh, for sequence alignment and phylogenetic tree development so we have to first the you know, first step or first thing we have to do we have to select a uh, gene which will use for uh, this uh, alignment or phylogenetic tree preparation and the gene for uh, today's workshop or today's training we, we use rbcl gene now in the pdf provided you will find the information related to rbcl gene what is rbcl gene rbcl gene is basically 
it is the gene which encodes the last subunit of ribulose 15 bisphosphate rubisco enzyme na we all know so this is very common gene or uh, and many of this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, this practical demonstration uh, we basically use this rbcl gene because it is basically there are many factors na many uh, many easier easier things uh, about this uh, rbcl gene so it's there in uh, in the pdf you can find more detail about this rbcl gene how why we use this rbcl gene because it is a conserved am among all the texas means first thing is this that all the photosynthetic plants na must have chloroplast and in the chloroplast there must be this rubisco enzyme and this rubisco enzyme is basically coded by rbcl l means your large subunit na so there are rbcs also rb uh, small sub for small subunit but uh, uh, for today uh, for our convenience we will use this rbcl gene so this is your first part that you have to open the ncbi and if you have uh, if you want to uh, get the basic knowledge of this rbcl gene which we will use today so you can read from the pdf that it is there the information is provided already that what is rbcl gene why we are using this rbcl gene what are the uh, what are the benefits of using rbcl gene in normal sense na? and instead of this rbcl gene for your research objective you can use any gene The, the the point here is that if when you are comparing different uh, plant species or animal species you have to select some genes which are mostly conserved throughout the evolution na? so if some genes are very mutable or very very changes uh, with the time that that uh, that gene cannot be aligned properly the point is that gene cannot be aligned but here we have selected rbcl gene which is almost or mostly conserved in different taxas or different species then if you go to this Mm, page number uh, four, five. Page five. Getting started. It's written. Getting started. Nah. So in the in the page five, basically, the steps are written. So how we will start? So the first step is written is that we have to go to the. Everyone getting my point? Nah. Any confusion here? You can uh, just say it because we are starting just now. So if there is some confusion in the beginning, that will be. Uh, difficult later so you can unmute and respond anyone and if you are using laptop then you can follow the step in your laptop na side by side or you can write in the chat box if 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 any time in the in the in the uh, meeting if, if any time if you, if you are not understanding any points or any steps so you can just write it down in the chat box i will repeat that step again uh, or discuss that step in detail so without delaying so we will go so in the steps the first step is your you have to open the gene bank then in the gene bank since we are talking about some genes na since we are talking about some gene so you have to change you have to change the nucleotide option written above in the search nearby the search button and you have to change that nucleotide into gene because we we will search the gene so if you can see here that i have selected this gene option na the gene option and in the gene option you have to search as as per the steps given we have to search uh, rubisco large subunit we have to search the rubisco large subunit so see if you can see that in the in the in the search button i have placed rubisco large subunit na so after that you have to click the search option it's a, you can follow the steps from pdf also pdf provided and after this searching that here it started see the rbcl gene rbcl gene the gene uh, gene and gene uh, name of the gene and gene co gene id is given na so you have to identify this rbcl gene where rbcl is written that is rbcl and in the description you can see the plant species for which the rbcl gene is there na so in the first option it's like uh, suppose nicotiana tobacco na so it is uh, for tobacco species and likewise uh, there are many rbcl genes of different species are provided here so one thing for easier purpose or for our purpose if you see the table now we will first select the z maze corn now we will first search for the corn rbcl gene the normal thing the corn rbcl gene or z maze rbcl gene so for that you have to search for corn 
so corn how you will search either you will search like this in the first page then in the second page next page so like likewise you can search suppose in the next page so there are total 134 pages here if you see there are total 134 pages or you can see in the side wise you can see the top organisms now here it is in top organisms so in the top organisms you can see the triticum estibum then uh, this uh, all these things are hibiscus so here if you click the more so see the top organisms are here it is written and here it's the z maze now, anyone can confirm you can see the z maze now 16 there are 16 rbcl genes present and it is the g uh, just below the oryza setaiba rice and then uh, just above this uh, helianthus you can see the z maze so what you have to do you have to click on this 16 means the rbcl gene of z maze will appear there are 16 sequences which are present in this database so you click on the rbcl z maze and it will give you this where you have all the rbcl genes of Z maze. If you can see the description, in the description it is clearly written. This is the RBCL gene of Z maze. And now in this RBCL ID number eight five five two one two, here you can see ribulose one five bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase large subunit Z maze. So our first species, the species which will select first will be your RBCL large subunit of uh, Z maze. So if you select this Z maze RBCL gene, so if you click the select option, you can follow the PDF for steps. Steps are written. So this is the page open na, for this RBCL gene of Z maze. And here you can see in the right side there is a genomic regions and transcript and products. If you can say in the right side, in the in the in the table, right side, here it is written. First is summary, then genomic context, context and genomic regions, transcript and products. So we have to click genomic regions, transcript and product. This page will open. Everyone can follow me, na? If any confusion, you can ask in the midway or you can write in the chat box. Uh, <coughs> so this is, the, this is the page which will open when you click this genomic region. And here the option of FASTA is here. Since for sequence alignment, we use the FASTA format. So we have to just click the FASTA. And in the FASTA C, here your gene will appear. The gene of uh, this uh, RBCL gene of Z maze, that is chloroplast whole genome, this is appear here like this. Now the next step, if you see in the PDF, the next step you have to paste means copy this gene and paste it in the notepad means you have to open a notepad so suppose i am opening a notepad now in your laptop you have to open the notepad so i am just opening but you can also open a notepad and in the notepad if i if i share the notepad first you have to copy it so you copy it from this arrow, whole thing, and just control C, it will copy the FASTA file of RBCL gene of Z maze. Nah, everyone can follow, nah? And then next thing is that I have to stop this presentation. NCBI data will no need, will open the notepad. So this is your notepad normally in any laptop the notepad will appear like this and in the notepad what you have to do you have to paste it simple it is there in the uh, written in your uh, pdf file you have to just control b paste you paste the uh, whole sequence of this rbcl gene of z maze and there you have to one thing you have to do is, uh, you have to rename it rename it by writing like this see after the arrow just delete this part. Nah. Delete this part, whole part, and give a common name. That is your corn, the common name for Z maze. Simple. 
on the common name for Zimage and rest the whole sequence will be like this. We have to keep the whole sequence as it is. Now, just you change this line because for uh, easy, easy understanding because whenever the final uh, 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 this phylogenetic tree will appear so in the phylogenetic tree the branch will show this name only on the common name for, of for zmas so for your easy easiness you can write it anything here whatever you write in this after this arrow it will appear in your phylogenetic tree so for our easiness we write uh, on the common name for zmas now the next thing we have to do, we have to save it. Save the what uh, this notepad. So for saving, you just click Control Save, and in this case, uh, suppose you have to select a folder. So I have selected uh, suppose a folder, uh, suppose Mega Analysis or whatever. And in the folder, you have to save it. Wherever you are saving it, you have to remember it. Now wherever you are saving, and Suppose I am saving it in the desktop and in the desktop, you have to change the name into pawn.fasta or whatever, whatever name you want to give, you just name it like this, that dot fasta means here, if you can see, it's visible, na? suppose see pawn fasta and then you select all. This is very important. You have to select all files. You have to select all files. Now, and suppose I am saving. Anyone have any confusion? You can ask. I am saving this into suppose my mega folder. In the mega folder, suppose uh, I have prepared a new folder. Suppose exercise like this. You can do exercise. And in the exercise folder, suppose you can save this on faster all files. Now this notepad is basically saved in your folder. The folder is your uh, whatever the in my case in the desktop I have a mega folder and in the mega folder uh, I, have, I have named a folder exercise. In the exercise folder I have now saved this corn uh, file, zmage corn file in a faster format. Now, so if you can if you want to see the folder you can see here see i'm stopping this and sharing the folder so in my folder the first sequence i have received or i have saved is your pawn and if you see the type of the file it is faster file na? it is faster file size is 2 kb so if you go through the pdf so in the pdf you will see that you have to uh, open you have to open all the same way you have to save all the wait um, sharing the file now, here you can see there are basically ten plants. If you can see, there are basically uh, we have to the same way we have to save uh, save uh, this faster file of RBCL gene of ten plants because we are comparing these ten plants: corn, kale, uh, this Arabidopsis, then rice, tobacco, potato, whatever means whatever the uh, whatever your objective, we have to save the faster file of that specific gene in the same folder in a faster format. Now, with the, the process we have followed for corn, you have to follow the same process for all these different plant species or plant uh, plants. Now. So, suppose tobacco, potato, liver, uh, the sunflower. So, you have to follow the same procedure which we have followed for our on file so here you can in this in the pdf you can easily see that there is a genomic region transcript products you have to select then you have you have to go to faster then you have to copy and paste this rbcl gene into notepad and in the notepad you have to name it as a con the con name a common name for zmage and the same way you have to do it for the all these 10 species so after that 
when you save all this then you have a folder which have suppose i have already saved it for uh, easier understanding so i have already saved all the 10 fasta file or 10 uh, genomic sequence of rbcl gene of 10 species na? at any point if anyone have confusion you can now the next step will start is your building the evolutionary tree building the evolutionary tree you have to uh, open the mega mega software which you have already have in your laptop you have to just open the mega software so i am now opening my uh, this mega software for starting this evolutionary tree preparation so let me open this mega wait I think the software page is not shared. Can you confirm? Yes, sir. It is visible the software molecular evolutionary genetics. Okay, okay, okay. So <clears throat> from here on, actually, I have to. I think the window window of this uh, software is not sharing. So I have shared whole screen. So because of sharing the whole screen, I think. Yes. Uh, this software is now visible. Na? Yes. Sir. So in the software, you have to start doing your. Uh, Molecular evolutionary data preparation on me. So to start with this uh, software, you have to go to the align align in the corner. You can see now I cannot uh, see this uh, Google Meet, so you can just you can you can uh, say if it is not visible in the main in the in the, in the middle so just i am clicking this align align option if you see this align option in the corner and in the align option you have to go to edit and build alignment nah, anyone open so you can if anyone open open uh, this mega file in, uh, in in your laptop so you can just click on the alignment which is alignment tab which is present in the corner and in the alignment you have to edit and build alignment so here you have to select create new alignment because we are creating a new alignment or new session we have, we have started. So we will select this create a new alignment and click OK. So it will give you a separate uh, uh, new uh, interference. So in this case you have to are you building a DNA or protein sequence alignment. So since we are using genes so that means it is DNA. So you have to select the DNA and it will open this page this new page nah. so in this page you have to go to uh, this uh, edit option nah. in the edit option and you have to in the edit option you have this insert sequence from file since we are inserting we have already saved our sequences in the faster format in our laptop so you have to just select insert sequence from file so this will open your folder whatever the folder you have saved your sequence that folder will open here so in the folder you can see this faster you have to follow this faster file so see the type so in the type see faster so we have to select all the faster of corn then we are comparing cucumber then euglena viridis euglena viridis we have selected as a out group as a out group then you have to select grape, then liver toad, then potato, whatever the FASTA file, then rice. As per table, if you can uh, see the PDF. So in the PDF, I will already provided what are the plants we will uh, cover in this topic. So we have selected 
टेन प्लांट्स एंड वन आउट ग्रुप आउट ग्रुप दैट इज योर इग्लेना वेरिडीज ना सो दिस एलिवेन सिक्वेंसेस आर सिलेक्टेड नाउ यू हैव टू जस्ट क्लिक ओपन सिलेक्ट योर फास्टर फाइल एंड देन क्लिक ओपन so you can see that all the sequences are loading one by one it's visible na zakaria yes sir it's visible okay yes sir so all the sequences are now loaded na all the sequences are loaded the last 12 sequence it is extra so you have to just delete it because it is already there so we will click delete so now you have 11 sequences 11 sequences means all the sequences we have selected you can see their name tobacco tails sunflower spinach and all all these sequences will be uh, there so now we have inserted our since we have inserted our uh, sequences so you can start doing this uh, uh, alignment so now you will go to the alignment tab here you see alignment in the above there is a alignment tab and in the alignment you have aligned by crustal now if you remember in our uh, discussion in our discussion in previous session we have discussed about crustal w and how we use this crustal w for multiple sequence alignment here we have multiple sequence that means we have eleven sequence so we will go with crustal w and crustal w will automatically align these sequences if you can remember so we select the crustal w so here it is written nothing selected Uh, for element select all so if you you have since we have not selected any sequence so we'll select all na so it will select all the sequences and here the setup is same pair wise alignment alignment and it's uh, keep it like this na no need to change this opening penalty extension penalty all these things will be there and you just click okay and this will start pair wise alignment if you can see in the uh, screen it is aligning first pair wise and then it is doing this multiple sick alignment hello ma'am now the sequence are aligned you can see the differences na everyone now the sequences are basically aligned so it is a large sequence if you can see from here it is started from here to See the sequence. All the sequence maximum alignment. You can see the color or follow the colors wherever possible. This crustal W matches or maximum probability or maximum match matches are there, and there are some mismatches and also there may be some gaps. Na? It's visible, na? Yes, sir. Now uh, one thing. this is the end of this uh, sequence at the end of this aligned sequence you have to see for the star now this is called trimming of ends na you have to trim the end so these are basically this all the gaps are there so we have to trim this part because we don't need this uh, part for our preparation of tree so you select this uh, part just after the last star and click delete selected blocks so this will trim your end now you can see the end is now trimmed it is clear and the same way if you go to the first part here also you you look for this uh, star now here the star is here na so from this star we will select all select means select and drag no problem so you select this part and again you delete this selected block now it is trimmed from front side and it is also trim from the end side clear anyone have any question on this so this this part is your first part as we discussed in our previous session this is the first part this is the alignment part na where we have used cluster w for multiple sequence alignment here we have just aligned the sequence now this align sequence can be used for anything now whatever the use you have you can use suppose today we will use this align sequence for our phylogenetic tree preparation 
or you can do whatever you want as per your requirement but we are specifically concerned about our preparation of phylogenetic tree with the help of mega software so this is your aligned sequence and now the part is over so we will save this session now for saving we have to click data and here you see this save session option means we have to save this session so for saving we have to click save and see here we already i have saved this session but still you have you can save it again so you can write suppose uh, session 2 uh, session 2 for this session or whatever and one thing you have to notice the type of the file is dot mas mas that is very important because the aligned sequence will be saved in dot mas uh, type na so now click save so it will save your uh, this aligned sequences in the folder mega where i have already a mega folder and in the mega folder i have pasta suppose see here this is your desktop in the desktop you have created already you have a mega folder and in the mega folder just go to the pasta and pasta or whatever the folder you have and in that folder you just save the session so this will save the session now after saving the session the part of this alignment part is over na the sequence alignment part is over so you can just close here you can just close it na now this is the original uh original uh, page of your mega software na so now we have already aligned the part now you will go for the phylogenetic tree preparation na now in this a uh, yeah, select <coughs> so in this file you go to the file menu if you see here file menu above in the corner and in the file menu you open a file session see here na we have saved already a session that is in the dot uh, ms file align sequence now in the mega software you have to open that na so see, suppose i have selected and in the see look for this uh, mass file which we have selected as exercise so suppose this one session session 2 and x that that was saved by me earlier but now we will use this session 2 uh, for uh, this one and everyone can understand na all files are faster file that we have already this one we saved just before uh, closing the alignment tab this session will be now open now click open and here it's written analyze or align now alignment part is over so we will see we will click analyze because we will analyze it now now protein key and sequence of data here it is asking that is this sequences code for some uh, proteins so we will since we it is rbcl gene so we will say yes and it will give you the data here in the corner you can see it is visible now the mega software or mega file have the your session saved session for uh, phylogenetic tree preparation so it's over now you go to the phylogeny see here phylogeny and in the phylogeny you see here there are different methods which we have already discussed in our uh, previous theory section that there are construct test maximum likelihood then test neighbor joining so for this session we will use neighbor joining methods so i have already discussed now there are two types uh two way which we can use minimum likelihood or neighbor joining so suppose we are selecting neighbor joining so in the neighbor joining would you like to use currently active session so with session 2. ms so this is the session which is currently active so we will say yes and it will give you this page so there are some default uh, options already na so these things i have already changed suppose c1 by 1 phylogeny test so in the phylogeny test if you open in your software it will show none so in the none you have to select bootstrap method and number of replication you can uh, place it 100 and 1000 so this bootstrap method is basically because with the bootstrap it will it is a basically statistical method it will use the replication and it will give you uh, means more uh, confident result na the result which you can more reliable you can say more reliable result so this move bootstrap method you have to select and then in the substitutions type it is nucleotide na see here 
it is amino acid is also there syn non syn synonymous are also there so we have select uh, since we have nucleotide so we will select nucleotide and in the nucleotide there are different models so in your software there may be default model may be anything suppose maximum likelihood or anything so just select juke's cantor model so it is written in your uh, this pdf instruction so from there also you can follow step by step so we'll select jack scanner and rest is same na uniform rates homogeneous pair wise deletion and all things will be remain same as it is and we'll click okay so it is now in showing progress na so it is basically preparing the uh, file and if you see the preparation before uh, before this there are some boot stripping na if you if you can uh, remember there the process shows some boot scraping so in the boot straps these numbers will be provided this 100 42 34 100 100 so this number means the confidence level na this is the result of boot strap so with, since we have used boot strap so this boot strap will give you the more confidence level suppose this is 100 means this rice and corn whatever the branching it is showing it is uh, maximum likelihood or maximum probability that they are uh, uh, more related or more Uh, close to one another genetically this is 58 90 these are bootstrap numbering or bootstrap number as per your uh, pdf file you can check here just i am opening the pdf file again see now so we have uh, covered this first file section and now you have we have we have saved the session so we have selected phylogeny these steps are going on 16 17 so in the 17 see the preferences we have selected analysis statistical neighbor joining phylogeny bootstrap all this we have already selected now tree appeared so in the tree appeared you select the compute contents tree so you have to you can condense this you see here compute is there in the compute you select contents trees this will condense the tree it means Uh, extra branching or anything extra which is not necessary or not useful so that will be removed yeah. and here you select the cut off value 50 50 means these 42 34 these are the values which we will use for condensation and we will use the cut off value 50 means below 50 it will condense it or it will cut off this tree option so this is 50 and this will change your tree if you can see the tree is now changed na yeah. and last thing you have to do you have to add root as i already discussed in my previous session you have to eat root and for rooting you have to use the outgroup which we have used so in our case we have used euglena veridis as a outgroup now if you remember these are the 10 plant species and this is the outgroup so in the outgroup you just click the branch of the outgroup and click right click and here you have root and just click on the root it will give a rooting uh, this phylogenetic tree will give you all the information all the information means how this euglena and liberot and all these plant species are related to one another which is the outgroup since euglena is outgroup it is uh, coming out of the uh, suppose tobacco and potato they have more relation with one another than rice and corn are more related na then tails uh, this arabidopsis and grape are more related so this way it will give you a rooted tree and finally just follow the steps steps are very clear so in the steps we will find everything and finally you can save the pdf so you can go to the file option and you can save the current session or print option whatever you want to do na so you can anything do anything you can do save current session or export pdf or whatever or here also there are options uh, suppose save the current tree so i have saved it here layer so you can see you can save the tree in your pdf so this is the final output of our phylogenetic tree preparation uh, so likewise you can save your tree in a very beautiful manner and you can use this tree for your whatever the purpose you have uh, so whatever the purpose basically uh, <coughs> we have so since if anyone is uh, means uh, uh, doing it right now you can 
share your screen also so that i can also see what are the st which, which steps anyone anyone is following the steps right now in your laptop so the point here is that uh, since uh, i called it point here is that since we have used uh, the, if someone is using uh, mega currently you can share your screen no problem I mean, we can see the steps in which steps you are present or uh, if you are able to uh, create the tree or uh, uh, just uh, for revising it so in the pdf or in the uh, file which we have provided so in the file you can follow the steps and in the steps uh is very clear it is basically divided into three part na the first part is your uh, this gene bank na first part is your let me share this final output file so anyone can match so this is your output file which we have just uh, means uh, developed the help of is mega so the point here is that the whole process of this phylogenetic tree analysis or phylogenetic tree preparation you can divide into three parts as we did just now that first part is your uh, this ncba database the first part is your ncba database so ncba database is a huge database now it contains lots of uh, gene sequences protein sequences and all the sequences the first thing if you go through the uh, instruction pdf so the first thing we have to open the ncpi database and you have to uh, uh, collect some sequences in the fasta file so how you will select or how you will save files in fasta format that i have already explained you have to just uh, select the gene in the search menu then you have to write the gene name for our case it is rbcl uh, large subunit or you can directly write rbcl large subunit or you can uh, uh, write it that Uh, rubisco large subunit gene so any any information you can put in your search button or any other gene if you are considering you know, whatever the gene you are considering and then put the search button or click the search button and it will give you lots of uh, uh, similar genes from different species and suppose in our cases as it is uh, there in your pdf file we have uh, we we want to uh, means uh, Uh, compare or we want to uh, create a phylogenetic tree of 10 species na so in the 10 species if you see we have selected mostly vastly means uh, from uh, this vegetables tobacco means uh, as far as suppose some horticultural crop uh, suppose some tetrophytes is also there and all those things so whatever you do any photosynthetic plant or any photosynthetic organism have this uh, rbcl gene so you can select any photosynthetic uh, plant and you can see the a uh, genetic relationship or evolutionary relationship within this space. so in our case we have selected 10 plants and in the 10 plants we try to cover as diverse as possible suppose something from horticulture something from our uh, cereals something from suppose uh, uh, suppose vegetables so all these things we covered and we have developed uh, we have gathered all the uh, fasta files and saved in our folder in a folder and during Uh, if you remember during the saving of this fasta files we have to copy the fasta file in the notepad in your laptop or in your computer in your system means it is not like this that we select the fasta file from ncbi and we saved it in the our word file now that will not do so we have to open a notepad and in the notepad you have to paste your fasta file and after the arrow there will be something written in the fasta file na so that after the arrow part and before starting the nucleotide sequences there is a part where you can put your name whatever the name you want to uh, give to recognize during its phylogenetic tree preparation suppose i have given like this so if you see the tree so here the names are very easy to understand na potato the common name for uh, this solanum tuberosum so these names you have to provide during your notepad only later you will not get the option of giving names to the branches so whatever the name you want to give the branches we have to put it in the notepad after the arrow before the nucleotide 
and then you have to save the notepad and during save the saving the notepad you have to select all files and the name of the file must have dot faster means i have saved it as a con dot faster you can save it anyway but it should be dot faster na con dot faster rice dot faster tobacco dot faster whatever and you save it so after that you will have lots of notepad which are now not notepad basically it is now a faster file and it is saved or loaded in your system now it is now there in your system so you can close the ncbi database database because from the ncbi database we have collected the sequences and then you go to the mega software so now this in the mega software as we have discussed already mega software can align as well as analyze this is very important this mega software can align also and analyze so before analyzing any sequence whether it is nucleotide sequence or protein sequence we have to align the sequence without aligning the sequence you cannot analyze what is present or what is different because if you remember the sequences so sequences are very large and it is very colorful so you cannot understand or get any idea by just by seeing the sequences it is not like that in our uh, in classroom we just put uh, four five nucleotides and we look for look for mismatch but the original sequence is very large na so in the original sequence you have to uh, see for uh, this just like this in the original sequence it is very difficult to identify the mismatch na it is very difficult to identify the mismatch so original sequences are as we all know is very large so suppose i have shared again the ncbi one so this is your ncbi database sequence na so this sequence is basically very large so since we have this sequence and again we have 10 sequences of similar size so you it is very, it will be very difficult to identify the similarity or dissimilarity miss mismatch or gap or anything so for that we will use cluster w which is already there in your mega software so in the mega software you just click align in the align you have to first get all the files so you should put all your faster files in the alignment bar na insert save faster file it is there na we have just uh, we already did it so from there you select all the faster files which you have already saved in your software in, the, in in your system so from there you will <coughs> select all this faster file and may, uh, keep it in the me mega software mega software mega mega file mega alignment folder you can say na uh, alignment bar so then you can select the align option and there you have cluster w option now align by cluster w now we have already done it let me show you again uh, this was your uh, soft uh, mega soft or mega we have to again select the whole skin because software i think we cannot share the skin directly the software skin so this is your again the mega software here you have uh, alignment tab na so in the alignment tab you have this align option and then here if option of open file session edit repair analyze option so in the analyze option there are many options these options are there also in outside also there are phylogeny and all those sessions are there so if you select data na so data you can select open file session export data insert data so all these session so whatever saved in your uh, laptop the system whatever the file you have saved so from there you can directly open the so you can suppose here edit and build na so you can select it just we did already so i'm doing it again so here you have create new alignment so this will again happen are you creating a new data so this was our previous data suppose i have cancelled it because we have already have our data so this was we already created na so this is our aligned data na this is our aligned data and this aligned data we have saved as a mass file dot mass file and for this alignment you just you can remember it again here it is cluster aligned by cluster w so we already use this aligned by cluster w option and with that we have aligned the sequences and if you remember we have trimmed also the end i i earlier it was uh, many gaps are there and many mismatches are there but after trimming now it is complete sequence all the sequences are of same length and they are showing 
as now suppose this is your aligned sequence so in the aligned sequence if you see the colors so maximum possible similarity this clustered w actually uh, align the sequences as much as possible means the maximum probability or maximum possibility of alignment is there now what about the uh, uh, sequence alignment there and if you if you see all these genetic sequences are basically rbcl now all these sequences are basically rbcl genes but these genes are showing different sequences or different uh, uh, mismatches now so that's that's the evolutionary part now this all these rbcl genes are basically evolved evolved from some common ancestors and in the evolutionary phase this rbcl gene developed some most of the regions are conserved but still there are some uh, changes or evolutionary mutations or evolutionary changes and because of this now all this rbcl sequence of different plant species become different but still they are doing the same purpose the purpose of producing large subunit of rubiscona but still there are some dissimilarity and based on this similarity we are trying to create a phylogenetic tree which can give us idea of evolutionary relationship of this uh, species uh, so as if you remember we we, we saved this suppose here we have saved already saved the session na uh, here the save session option so we have to save this session in dot mass file uh, we have already saved it it's there uh, so you can select the save session and you can save it so it is there already saved dot mass file then so you can close this file and you can come to this uh, original mega mega software and you can go to phylogenetic tree construction and here you have options now we have discussed this options that maximum light one option and neighbor joining is another option so in general you can use both na for just for comparison you can produce a neighbor joining tree and produce a maximum likelihood tree and then you can compare that how this Uh, trees are different, so mostly they are. They will their the output will be similar, but there may be some uh, basic differences in the construction. Anyone have any question? So okay, we we'll continue. So then you can go to the phylogeny and then construct na just neighbor neighborhood or neighbor joining method, and you can select the. mass file which you already have here we have actually already done it so it will give you or it will get you the data in this tab and then you can select the phylogenetic tree and finally two thing you have to do after the uh, development of this tree after after you have produced the tree or output is ready then you have to do two thing now that that those two things are also very important we have already discussed and it's there in your pdf then the first thing you have to do is to uh, is to condense the tree why we, we are condensing because there may be some extra branches which is not required or which 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 are giving no meaning to the phylogenetic tree so for that you have to go to the tree condensation and you can condense the tree one thing and then that tree is not rooted actually that tree is not rooted and without rooting as i already discussed without rooting you cannot say the or you cannot predict the evolutionary uh, distance or evolutionary uh, ancestry or how these branches are different or not it will only give you the relatedness unrooted tree means only relatedness but when you uh, convert this unrooted tree into rooted tree then there will be more meaning will come more meaning means every branch length is basically giving you the Uh, the, the 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 genetic distance or gen genetic divergence these two species have have then uh, the closeness of these branches will give you the genetic relatedness the distanceness of these branches will give you genetic distances and for this na for this rooting purpose the most important thing which already we did is we have selected a out group if you remember now we have selected a out groups euglena verdis so this selection of out group is basically uh, means it's up to you na so uh, whatever the out group you want to select you can select the out group must be basically <coughs> uh, you can say uh, how will explain it that out group must be uh, distantly related to the in group 
the point here is that in group means we have 10 plant species na so the out group must be as distantly related to the uh, uh, this uh, 10 in groups as possible so in this case we have selected this euglena because it is somewhere in between animal and plant na it euglena varietis is also uh, this uh, photosynthetic means it have the rbcl gene but it is somewhere or distantly related to the plant or animal it is somewhere in the middle so that's why we have selected euglena varietis and for rooting the tree you have select you have to select the branch of the euglena varietis because uh, after seeing the tree only you know that what, which one is the outgroup na which you because you have created it so you know the outgroup so in the outgroup branch you have to just right click and there will option will pop up that option say root so you select the root we already did it so that will give you the root and another important point is that this numbers which are there in your Uh, tree now the numbers which you are uh, there in the tree and this numbers are basically result of boot strapping so don't forget to boot strap i already uh, is there in your pdf instruction and it is already discussed because without boot strapping also you can develop a tree but when you do the boot strapping that will give you the exactness or more reliability because boot strap means it will <coughs> you can say create the same tree with the same a uh, sequence multiple times suppose we have bootstrap into 1000 so that means it will give you more reliability 1000 times it bootstrap the sequence and it will give you the phylogenetic tree so th these things in your hand means uh, if you want to bootstrap or not so the preference will be bootstrap is good then uh, there is a uh, there is a rooting or unrooting so that also you have to add or you cannot add that is up to you but rooting is also important because without root you cannot and then also this condensation of tree so in the pdf file the last three four steps which are given so these steps are is up to up to you after the tree preparation you can do these things and uh, check your tree which way is better which way it is more meaningful and since we have developed the tree which is uh, somewhat we can all, already guess na suppose in our tree the rice and this uh, you can say uh, rice and corns are uh, in similar branch or close branch so you can easily say that this rice and corns we already know na that the rice and corns are genetically similar so in one normal understanding also and similar way you can find some kind of similarity which is already you can predict but when you are you are using some plant or genes which are new or which are not uh, means very much common in use that time you will get some kind of new findings or new idea that will give you and in the same way suppose you are doing some genetic mutation analysis na mutation analysis means suppose you are working in suppose as i did uh, in my phd or in my research that suppose you are uh, creating some kind of mutations in some specific trait na suppose any trait you are causing some mutation suppose you are you are causing some chlorophyll mutation with the help of some kind of mutant agents na so that means the rbcl gene which is present in your mutant that may be mutated because of the mutagen you used so that means in your mutant this rbcl gene sequence is not same as the control whatever the variety you have used so in that case also you can create some kind of phylogenetic tree and check the relatedness or distances how far you have created the divergence the point is clear na that the mutants since mutants are also photosynthetic they are also doing fine maybe mutant is more productive or more giving more yield it is more better and this mutant can be com compared with mutant means this mutant contains new rbcl gene sequence na so evol basically induced mutation is basically nothing but force evolution na so in mutagenesis basically we are forcing the evolution naturally it will take thousands of years to evolve into a new high yielding variety but with the help of mutagenesis you can evolve a plant into a high yielding variety within suppose Uh, three to four year, so that is your mutagenesis. So that means the genes present in the mutants are already mutated. Now, what about the genes present? Most of the genes, it is random process, so you cannot say which gene is mutated, which gene is not mutated. But still, if you have some mutant which is giving you good things and good uh, better productivity, so in that mutant you can isolate the gene sequences from that mutant, and you can mm, suppose extract out the RBCL gene from the mutant and compare your RBCL gene of your mutant with already provide provided rbcl gene of the database also with your control means that seeds which you have used for mutagenesis so from there from the original source plant so there also the, the rbcl gene is present 
and if you get a tree where it is showing that the mutant is here suppose in the in distance from the control plant so that means you have successfully in creating a very big mutation in your mutant and if it is showing that control and mutant is very close to each other so based on this phylogenetic tree also you can but i want to say that with the help of this phylogenetic tree you can also identify or understand your mutants now your your basically uh, practical practical uh, your practical part na your your research part also so you can uh, study so if you have any question you can ask if anyone have any queries you can ask or unmute their mic or write in the chat box so other part which i have is local and global alignment i think is already covered by other uh, as i can see in the whatsapp chat so it's already done na so i will not go into that alignment part which is your pair wise alignment this is your multiple sequence alignment i have discussed na two types of alignment one is pair Uh, pair wise alignment one is multiple sequence alignment so multiple sequence alignment we need cluster w we used mega and we did it for pair wise alignment we can use local alignment and global alignment and for that we have to uh, produce some uh, this uh, matrices which we have discussed na and give some scores match score mismatch score this thing i uh, uh, i think already covered by previous uh, uh, resource persons so we'll not go into detail in that and we have limited times also so We'll stick to this one mega uh, multiple sequence alignment. So, anyone have any question regarding this multiple sequence alignment, or uh, from your research topic also? Na? So, if you have some research topic you are working and you want to use bioinformatics, because one thing I I want to add here that bioinformatics basically gives you some bioinformatics basically is not a subject, na? so it's basically a tool. So, don't take it as a subject. Though I though we have uh, this uh, subject means uh, but theory paper or uh, <coughs> other things uh, of bioinformatics but still bioinformatics is basically a tool and this this tool can be used for all type of biological research we are doing na? so for your purpose whatever the biological research you are doing you can use this uh, bioinformatics and it is also a very vast uh, thing which i i also don't know means the whole use of bioinformatics tools for different purposes but just like i said that for my purpose i need to compare our mutants with some control plants so we can use this mega software so likewise part by part whatever the field or specialization you have you can use your uh, this phylogenetic tree preparation for your understanding or for your research work so you can discuss your uh, research topics also if you have local and global alignment pairwise alignment that part is covered so uh, don't want to go into that part so any uh, means uh, for our students suppose these questions i get many a times uh, from our graduation students if uh, so one problem they face is basically repeatedly come in comes in all the this <coughs> exams that's why i have some this type of uh, uh, skin shot of uh, this question papers i received regularly that uh, means na so it is for the bigo university what is so all the bioinformatics papers have these questions very common for 12 marks every year it is repeated so this question is basically related to your local and global alignment simple uh, this is pair wise so here the question is that two sequences are given we have to just uh align the sequences as per the score and find out the score suppose this one no so here the point is that you have to align this is again comes to your pair wise alignment na pair wise sequence alignment so here we have two dna sequence and the question is we have to compute best global alignment possible na and you have to give them score because without the score because it is depends on the maximum score you can give so it is 1 0 1 minus 1 so normally for gap penalty we have minus 1 
mismatch one. So this topic already covered in our previous uh, sessions, as I seen. So we will not go into detail. But the thing is that these questions are related to your pairwise alignment. And pair in the pairwise alignment, there is a very uh, easy uh, topic. I try to give it here. So here, see the sequence which we have. This is related to the previous question only. The same question. Uh, which is there <coughs> in the previous slide. So we have two sequence, na? sequence one and sequence two. So you have to place the sequence and then you have to select the score. So it is already given in our question that the score will be match score one, mismatch zero and gap score minus one. So gap score is always minus or uh, zero. It cannot be positive. Uh, that is very important. So these scores are already given in your question. So not now what you have to do, you have to just prepare the matrix as I discussed in my theory class. So we have to prepare the matrix. So this is the matrix. I have already prepared it because it is not showing in full, full slide. So this is the matrix if you see. So in the matrix, the important part is your <coughs> corner. Nah. So in the corner, first thing you have to do, you have to put a zero or blank. Nah. You have to put zero or blank. This uh, uh, large one, large matrix, follow the large matrix, uh, right side. So in the large matrix, you have to put the zero and this minus one, minus two in the first uh, uh, line or first cells, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Nah. If you can see here, minus one, minus three, minus four. So these are nothing but basically the gap score added one by one. Clear, na? These are basically the gap score added one by one. These, these are basically uh, these things we are discussing. This, uh, these things are basically the gap score added. How we add the gap score? This first part. So how we will add the gap score? Because we have started with zero. So then the next will be minus one because our gap score is minus and then will be minus one plus minus one that will be minus two and then it will be minus three plus minus uh, then you have to add gap score gap score gap score and it will give you up to uh, minus 14 and similarly here also it is starting. So this part you have to prepare first before starting alignment you have to prepare it first you have to put your sequence up and left side and then you have to uh, prepare this first line. Clear, na? Anyone have a, any query on this? This first line. So this is your part. You have to prepare first before starting alignment. You have to prepare this yellow part. I have just uh, highlighted it. So yellow part means you have to add uh, this gap score one by one. So since the corner is zero, then gap score 0 plus minus 1, that means minus 1. Then you have to add another minus 1, that means minus 2. Then you have to add another minus 1 because gap score is minus 1. So it will go on and it will finally go into minus 14. So this is prepared already. Now come to this first corner, which is red or uh, diagonally, which is below the 0, green below 0. Nah, below the green 0, you have to... So here, this one, this part, this yellow, uh, red part, you have to select or you have to prepare. The whole matrix, it will be blank and uh, it is blank basically initially. So you have to fill whole blank, uh, this uh, slide. And how you will fill these cells? This is the formula. This is the formula which you will use for filling the cell. So how, suppose this uh, first blue, uh, blue cell, nah, in, this, in this blue cell. So blue cell is filled because, see, First thing is diagonally, whatever the score, diagonally it is 1. Nah, diagonality 1 and the uh, thing is it is matching. Now nah, if you see uh, the, 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 this part. So see this part, this G and G is matching. Now nah, this G and G, second nucleotide, first nucleotide also matching. We are talking about second nucleotide. So second nucleotide is matching na, G, G. So that means our score is plus one. Na, score is plus one. So one plus 
uh, one plus uh, this uh, uh, this it's actually for blue one this one we are discussing it is basically mismatch one see here the third we are the third one so third one see here it is g one in and here it is adding in so this one we are talking this third one now so in the third one see it's a mismatch here it is adding in here it is one in so how we will score give score we will know that the mismatch score is zero and the diagonally above uh, diagonally above it is one so we will give one plus zero equal to one now what about the diagonal cell score plus the current cell score current cell score is one uh, sorry mismatch because of mismatch it is zero and diagonal score is one so one plus zero equal to one and again for this current cell this blue cell you have to consider the above cell upper cell and the uh, side cell so you have to consider three cells for identifying the maximum score for the current cell just remember the blue cell which we have which is our current cell the score will be determined by calculating all or by considering all the three cells diagonal cell upper cell and side cell so from the diagonal cell we get the score one from the upper cell c upper cell our current current score is zero because of mismatch and this gap score you have to add for upper cell so gap score is minus one so zero plus minus one the result will be zero minus one and again for right side or left side sorry left side score the zero is your original score of mismatch plus the gap score so for upper and uh, this uh, side cell you have to add gap score and for diagonal you have to add whatever the diagonal value we have suppose here we have one with what with your current cell score current cell score in this case it is a mismatch so it is zero so zero plus one it is one zero plus minus one it is minus one zero plus minus one it is minus one so finally you have to determine this 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 one is very important finally you have to determine this winning score what will be the winning score so winning score will be one nah? so that is very important so whatever the winning score will be out of this three calculation whatever the winning score that score will be inserted in the cell now that already covered in your previous discussion just i am repeating the point here is that you have to uh, put the winning score out of this three calculation so out of this three calculation whatever the winning score in this case we have one so we put one and then one thing you have to do you have to give the arrows why arrows because arrow will uh, clarify or arrow will give you the idea that from which cell it is taken so in our case suppose this one is taken from this uh, one this one is this one this one is taken sorry. this one is taken from basically uh, this one we are talking about suppose this one so this one is basically coming from the winning score is coming from this diagonal one so that's why the arrow is towards the diagonal so from wherever the winning score is coming that will be you have to give the arrow now so in the current cell the winning score is basically coming from the diagonal uh, score so that's why the arrow is towards the diagonal cell so if it is coming from two so you can use two arrows if it is coming from three so it means all the all the three are equal so you can you have to give three arrows so likewise you have to fill up the whole matrix so after filling the whole matrix you can uh, start the traceback method traceback method means just the last corner from the last corner you have to start from here so last corner will be the maximum score and from here we have to go upward and this going upward means you have to select the highest score out of this three score nearby now out of this three score you have to select the highest score so for six it is seven so we go to seven then for seven it is seven so we go to seven now because these two are six and six and for this seven it is five here here it is five here it is six so we go to six so likewise you have to trace back up to the top one now whatever the highest score you have to follow the highest score and finally you will have uh, a 
sequence or a match one minute this will, this one is your final match now so in the final match uh, if you see so here if you see the last cell the last corner cell is basically uh, there is a gap now there it is gap na why it is gap because these two cells are coming side by side so side by side means there will be gap so g whatever the g here in the above side there is a g so this d is basically will give you a gap in this cells, uh, sequence in this sequence this against this g there will be a gap because this c is already taken by this one already taken by this one means already taken by g so this is your last part now this is your last part and this one will uh, against this one there will be nothing here so it will be a gap and finally the score will be collected based on your highest score suppose in this case the gg is matching tt is matching cc is matching cc is matching so likewise you can select the score final score so here actually i have written it wrong so you have a a and t pt matching also so it is 1 2 3 4 5 7 actually so it will give you a seven score so the maximum score whatever the maximum score you have that alignment is correct means you can trace back this matrix in many way you can trace back this matrix in many way but finally whatever the sequence align sequence giving you maximum score that will be selected that's all clear so any question you can or doubt you can ask <laughs> thank you ma'am uh, and thank you sir to giving us your meaningful session and giving us your valuable time for from your busy schedule now i request miss mallika borwa to end the meeting with a formal vote of thanks thank you
within the participants yeah. present yeah. here. Last but not the least, everything we do all of you who make this event possible. We thank you for being with us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.